Okay, boo, so we're back. Welcome to another Where's My Tea mini talk session. Let's just get right into it. So it says, I've been going out with my boyfriend for about a year and a half now. He's a real sweetheart. He spoils me, but sometimes I just feel like we're two different people. We fight a lot over unnecessary stupid things like all the time. As usual, we had another argument three days ago and we haven't talked since then. It's to this point that this time he won't even eat the meals that I'm making. I would leave him, but to be honest with you, I'm not sure if it's that I hold on because I love him or if it's because he spoils me way too much. To be honest, I don't know. The other main problem is his sex game is too weak. My girls have given me advice that I should go on top and that I should do all that other stuff. But see, the problem is I think he has some kind of illness or nerve dysfunction because he says any kind of kind of because he says any kind of slight pressure or touch on his penis hurts. Um some long nerve that's within in it. I concluded that this is some kind of problem. I even Googled it and found the name of the illness. I tried talking to him once about seeing a doctor, but he got all emotional and mad. And as usual, it ended up to being four to five days of us not speaking. I need help from someone else who's not one of my friends because the last time I was going to leave him, they all said to me it would be wrong to leave someone just because of their sex game is weak. And it's, as it is something that can be fixed. He is a really nice guy besides that. I've tried Nini, but ever since last year, it's been the same old missionary one round thing that I'm over. This doesn't leave me satisfied at all. What would you do in this situation like this? Do you think I should stick around still and try to make it work? Or should this be where I draw the line? Please help me, right? How do I break the silence? Do I call it a quits and move out? What should I do? <sighs> we talking about sex game. Where is my tea, honey? All right, first, let me just throw this disclaimer out there. Since this is the topic of sex and I'm going to be relating some advice on sex, I do have the age restriction on this video. I do have a large following of girls that are under the age of 18 that I just don't feel comfortable with them watching them because sometimes their parents don't even talk to them about sex. And who am I to talk to anyone younger than me about sex without the consent of someone? So this does have an age restriction on it if you already tell YouTube that you were over the age of 18 and you were really not. You shouldn't be watching this. But let's get right into it. <sighs> okay. So I don't want to make all my videos about sex or anything like that. So please don't send me those type of emails. But this one, since it's new, I'm going to answer this. Or I'm going to give my input. See, <sighs> sex, this, this is going to cause different opinions. Some people say that sex should not mean so much in a relationship. It's not about sex. It's not about that. If he's good to you, it treats you right. And others say sex is an important factor. I'm just going to be completely honest to you guys because I'm always that way. For me, Nathisha, Nini, sex is a big part in me, for me. Um, you have to come correct with me for sex. And here's the thing. Sometimes you, it's like you have this person that's satisfied, that, that treats you right, right, spends all the coins and gets you whatever you want and does so much for you. And it's like you want to repay him in more ways, of course, not just sex, but sex is a way, it's a bond, you know what I mean? It's a connection that you build with that person that you like. And when they lack in that area, it's kind of hard to build that connection. And what happens is you need to be satisfied in more ways than just material ways. It's a connection. It's about a bond that that person that you're with, um, you can love them, you can love them, you can love them, but sex just adds on to that love. And this is not a lust thing. It's not a lust thing at all. It's just, it's a passion with it too. And if that person can't deliver, it makes you, it's like there's some loose ends. And what happens is, when there are loose ends and somebody can't satisfy you sexually, it leaves the room, the door open for someone else. And you have the potential to wonder what it's like with someone else because you have to be satisfied. Now, this is very, this is a hard situation to be in and trust me, I understand because I've been in this situation before too. Ultimately, I chose that I had to go and I chose it because I know me. I know that if this is not an area that we are connecting in, but we connect on other areas, it's, it's uh, I'm not going to be able to really get into you like that. Because 
I have to, we have to be able to connect on that area. You have to know what you're doing. You have to know, I have to be able to deliver. Just like you want me to deliver, you have to do that for me too. And sometimes you have naturally aggressive women, then you have submissive women. And sometimes we, as I'm submissive, Submissive women, we like for a man to dominate and take control and show that he knows what he's doing. And if you have someone who can't do that, it's such a turn off. Now, in this situation, I'm not giving you advice saying you should leave, girl, run for the hills. I'm not saying that. But it does seem like you are holding on because of the material things. And I'm just going to tell you this now. That's only going to hurt you and you're going to end up hurting him. And you don't want to hurt him. You know what I mean? Like, and when I say hurting him, you're going to look elsewhere. And you're not meaning to, but there's a part of you that's still not satisfied. Though he buys you everything and he winds and down you, you're still not satisfied. And you're going to yearn that. You're going to want that. It's normal. Especially for someone who holds sex, you know, at, at, on part of their list. So, I would say... You have to weigh your options. Are you going to pick sex? Like, I have to just, I have to have someone who's going to satisfy me. Or he can continue to wind and dime me and spoil me and I'll just get off how I get off. You know what I mean? It's really hard and I'm not encouraging you to leave, but I'm all, I'm just encouraging you to, this is up, this is really up to you and what you like. Now, one thing I can say on his defense, see men, let me tell you something, the, Men, all they really have is that down there, okay? And that's going to control a lot of things. That's why they have this whole, is it big enough? Is it good? You know, they have that whole, is it too small thing? Because it's, it's a confidence thing. And when you approach a man about his thing down there, you have to tread water very lightly. Because that's an ego. That's a confidence thing. So you bringing it up to him, I don't know if you brought it up harshly. Or if he was just like, look. Do, do something you gotta get i could understand why he got mad you have to it's it's delicate that topic is very delicate and he's going to take it a, a a certain way because that's his you know what i mean and it's not his fault sometimes it's not his fault and he may think that he's trying his hardest and if it's not working for him you have to understand it's a greater issue for him than it is for you because as a man, you want to be able to please and, and provide and give your lady what she, what she likes. And when you can't, it, it hurts you as a man. But then you have a, a, your lady in your ear and it's, it's not. And I'm sure he knows that he's not performing the way he wants to or the way he should to or should or he knows that he's not sexually um satisfying you i'm sure he knows that and as a person that's already tearing him down so with you telling him of course it's just going to cause him not to speak to you you have to understand men that's all they got they they get that's their that's their thing so it's a really delicate subject i say if you suggested it to him and he took it the wrong way try your approach this time i think you guys really should you know maybe in the bed you know talking and just say baby look you know, I love you and I, I want to be with you, but we have to figure this out. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to get you some help. I want to be with you and I want you to be the person to satisfy me, but it's, it's not working and I'm, I'm trying. You know what I mean? You have to come off to him in a, in a way that's going to help him. You know what I mean? Now, I'm only suggesting you to be like that if you ultimately decide to stay with this man. If in your head it's just like, I don't want to, then you don't have to have this conversation with him. I think you already told him that he's not satisfying you. And I think he got it. That's why you guys just don't talk. And I think you just want to explore other options. Now, what happens is we sometimes want cake, ice cream, and balloons and everything else. And I hope that this doesn't happen. What happens is you find this guy who pleases you. I mean, he lays it down. And then he's not shit. You know what I mean? It's it. So it ah, it sometimes we end up missing out, but it doesn't happen like that all the time. You can find this guy that you guys relate. You know the chemistry, the sexual chemistry between you two is perfect, and then he's a good guy. And then yeah, but I, I'm not telling you to leave this guy. What I'm ultimately saying is, you know what comes first. Another thing that I just want to touch on, and this is advice for anyone. Keep your girlfriends out of your relationship issues. Again, keep your girlfriends out of your relationship issues. 
you might want to do that. And girl, I know we need somebody to talk to. I trust me, I understand. But don't tell everybody. Because what happens is, somebody could be plotting on your man and you don't even and you don't even know it. Or your business can be out in the street. And now what happens is, you can get a bad name. Because they know that this man not even satisfying you, but you just using him for his coins. You just using him for, you know, the, the good way he treats you and he buys you stuff and stuff like that. And then that makes you look bad. Because then people know you ain't shit. You just using that boy. He don't even please you. And you you know what I mean? You don't want that look. So my advice to anyone, keep your keep your business, especially sexually. You don't want to put a man's business in the street like that. That not only is he dealing with that, but now you got other people knowing his issues. And that's something that's really private. You shouldn't really tell your friends that. Then you can ultimately end up missing out too. Because what happens is you'll have someone who may come along. And they know how to deal with it. They know how to talk to them about it. They get the situation going. Now they got the materialistic stuff and they got the thing going. Girl, he done got his stuff right and it's good. So you got to be careful. I say that whatever you hold at your list, you have to go with. Because if you do not and you do decide to stick around, you're going to be unhappy. And then you're going to be the one hurting him instead of him hurting you. And you don't want to do that. And it's ultimately going to happen because you are not sexually satisfied. You need someone to satisfy you in that area and you're not getting it at home. So then the door is open and you're looking and you're like, hmm. And he and a guy may be testing you like, hmm. And then what happens is you step into the fire and you don't want to step into the fire. So guys, that was my advice to her. Now... You guys can leave down below. I'm hearing from everyone. If you're in this situation, you've been in one. I'm here for people who disagree. Sex should not be an issue. Sex should not be. It should not be about the sex. You should love this man. I'm listening to people like that. Whoever has an opinion, leave it down below. Now, I just want to say, let's keep this clean and keep this nice. As I've said before, I'm working on my delivery, so I do want you guys to work on your delivery. Let's just make it a better approach. If you don't necessarily agree with what I'm saying, and again, I didn't pick sides. I'm saying what works for me, what works for Nini, and what works for the next person if you don't agree tell me why you don't agree totally fine it's all about your delivery though work on your delivery but just remember that we're all booze here okay so you're talking to a girlfriend don't bash her don't say you uh don't do that okay so guys don't forget if you need help with an issue or a problem or anything make sure you hit my email it is in the top in the bottom of the description box also, again, I don't want to make sex this topic thing that I want to talk about because I do have age restriction and it's kind of not fair to get those emails and I can't really talk to a broader crowd. So, you know, let's hold off on the sex emails. <laughs> but if you have any other issue that you want to talk about, you need advice for, hit my inbox and don't forget to leave a comment down below and that's it. I'm out.